Hey guys, so this video is going to focus on how to take the word name of a decimal and write the actual decimal for it. So here we have three different examples where we're given the word name and we actually need to take this and turn it into actual numbers. So the first example that we have is nine thousandths. So when it comes to the word name of a decimal, there's typically three components that you look at. Um, there is the number that goes to the left of the decimal, so your actual tens, hundreds, thousands, place values, and so on. If you have the word and in your word name, that represents your decimal point, followed by the number that you have to the right of the decimal. So the first example we have here is nine thousandths. So I don't have the word and or anything in there, so um, if you're missing the word and from um, your word name here, that means that there is no number to the left of the decimal. Here we simply have nine thousandths. And what that means is that we need to take the number nine, followed by its place value here, thousandths. And that number nine, what this signifies here, is when we're looking at writing the decimal for this, the nine needs to end in the stated place value. So I need to make sure that the nine is written in the thousand spot, or the nine ends in that thousands place value. So since I don't have the word end, that means I don't have a number to the left of the decimal, so I can start with zero point. Now I need to write nine thousandths, and the thousandths place value is three decimal place values over, because we need to keep in mind the first one is tenths, then hundredths, then thousands. So whatever number is stated needs to end where the given place value is. So that means nine needs to end where the thousands place value is. Any other spots that you have will be filled in with zeros. So this is how we write the decimal nine thousand. So point zero zero nine. Let's take a look at a second example here. So the next example we have is four and three tenths. So I do see that I have the word and in here, so I am looking at a number to the left of the decimal point, and the number that I have to, to the left of the decimal point is the number four. So four and, that means I'm going to have four, and represents my decimal, and then I need to take a look at the number to the right, and that is three tenths. So I have the number three, and it needs to end at the tenths place value. The tenths place value is just one decimal spot over, and the number three needs to end there. So I can simply put in the three where the tenths goes. There is no empty spots or anything like that to fill in, so this is simply 4.3. Four and three tenths. Our last example here is six and 44 ten thousandths. So again, we have the word and in there, so we are looking at a number to the left of the decimal, and that is a six. So we have six and, which signifies our decimal point, 44 ten thousandths. So we need to figure out where our ten thousand spot is. So we have tenths, hundreds, thousandths, ten thousandths. So the number 44 needs to end in that ten thousandths place value. So I'm going to plug in the negative, I mean the number 44 right there. So that 44, that 4 ends in the 10,000 spot. Any empty spots, you fill in with zeros. So this is what our decimal would look like, 6 and 44 ten thousandths. Otherwise, that's it for this video.